And a new report out this morning shows that the economy shrank for a second straight quarter, and some say we are officially in a recession. Yet President Biden has said we are on the right path. That doesn't sound like a recession to me. A lot of Americans don't feel that way. This is Anna, and you're watching Anna Speaks Out. So this is debating White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre on why the White House is redefining what a recession is. Now, up until 2020, I was a pretty diehard fan of Donald Trump and the whole administration. Um, now I have mixed feelings, but I do have to say that one of my most favorite takeaways from that administration is still the way in which Trump White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany did her job. And I have to say, journalist Peter Ducey to me is like the Kayleigh McEnany of journalists of the present day. If things are going so great though, then why is it the White House officials are trying to redefine recession? No, we're not redefining recession. If we all understand a recession to be two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth in a row, and then you have White House officials come up here to say, no, 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 that's not what a recession is. It's something else. How is that not redefining recession? Because that's not the definition. Well, that's interesting because when you type in definition of recession to Google, you come up with a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP in two successive quarters. That is not the definition. Brian Pankies said in 2008, of course, economists have a technical definition. Yeah, let's look at that then. Investopedia's Guide to Economic Recession. What is a recession? A recession is a significant, widespread, and prolonged downturn in economic activity. Because recessions often last six months or more, one popular rule of thumb is that two consecutive quarters of decline in a country's gross domestic product, or GDP, constitute a recession. Uh, and I will say that uh, the textbook definition of recession is not, is not two negative quarters of GDP. A bit of economics 101. According to the National Bureau of Economic Research, a recession is officially defined as a significant decline in economic activity spread across the economy lasting more than a few months, normally visible in real GDP, real income, employment, industrial production, and wholesale retail sales. So that was a decline in economic activity over more than a few months. Guess how long a quarter is? Three months. So two quarters is six months. And uh, yeah, that's more than a few months. So is there a disconnect here and is it gonna get worse? So let me just first say, and you know, I, I want to make sure that uh, I say this to Americans who are watching, your audience, your viewers, the president understands the anxiety that people feel about the economy, about inflation, uh, the cost that they're seeing around them. Your organization, you, you, you are fake news. Thank you again so much for watching. Since you liked the video enough to make it all the way to the end, don't forget to click the thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and please share with somebody else to, who would also find it interesting. Have a wonderful night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time zone you are in. Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.